we become vulnerable to viruses, bacteria, molds, parasites, pathogenic overgrowths, toxins, etc. Further, our cells have a harder time eliminating waste and the waste builds up, further degrading cellular function. So was there an early introduction to grains, soy or dairy? What was the nutrient density of foods introduced? Is the body being built from whole foods to which the child has no sensitivities, or is the child eating packaged, processed food? Has the child developed intolerances to certain foods due to an inability to digest them? And are these foods contributing to further degradation of the intestinal barrier or building envelope? If exposures to medications, antibiotics, poorly digested or processed foods that feed pathogenic overgrowth, etc., have impacted the integrity of the intestinal lining, our inner body's first line of defense, we can develop tiny spaces in the tight junctions of our intestinal lining. In simple terms, molecules slip through before they have been adequately digested, contributing to food sensitivities. Security has been breached. The body mounts an attack in the form of inflammation, which can become systemic, including in the brain. Inflammation equals flames. Are we building the child's house with straw, sticks, or bricks? Which burns more easily? <laughs>